This is Biz Unlimited, and I'm Cam Raslan. On this episode, Escaping the Middle Income Trap, the Human Capital Factor. To get ideas and possible solutions, I've spoken to two people. Victor Schwetz of Credit Suisse has written a paper called Why Some Countries Succeed and Others Fail. He thinks that there are two new countries that could join the club of fully developed nations by the year 2022. China has a 50% chance, and Malaysia, he believes, has a 25% chance. Uh, looking at your work here, you seem to have just, uh, come to five um, key points, if I can just say. Quality sure. of human capital, sure. ability to innovate and move up the value chain, yes. presence of strong core physical infrastructure, reasonably flexible and transparent business climate, and finally, demographics. That's right. You've put them in that order. Is that the order that you see, that quality of human capital is the most important thing? Um, I do. I do. Now, if you don't have other issues, if you don't have the right infrastructure in place, for example, if you don't have the right business climate in place, you could find it's challenging to move the human capital up to the level that creates complex products, complex transactions, and therefore start adding value. So from that point of view, I do put human capital as number one. Cradle was set up in uh, 2003, at first as a program yeah, to um, help fund uh, technology ideas, uh, to help people develop prototypes, and to also help people get to commercialization stage. Are you getting a sense that Malaysian human capital is good, bad, indifferent? On an investment basis, I think yes, there is definitely space for, for improvement. We would like to see stronger management teams. Entrepreneurship is still something that's uh, pretty much frowned upon in this part of the world, particularly high-risk entrepreneurship, like technology entrepreneurship. Nobody would leave a stable job, say, that, that pays you know, four or five figures uh, in order to do a tech startup and you know, put in all your money and possibly burn your way through. The problem with a lot of the public universities in this country is that we've locked out the private sector out of it. You know, Bobby Dangerfield, who used to be the, the head of Dell Human Resource, used to tell me that you know, when Malaysian undergraduates first come into internships with Dell, they were, you know, underexposed as compared to their other international peers. But one year on, after the exposure with Dell, they are some of the best interns in the world. Malaysia doesn't have the scale of the business, does not have the scale of the country to actively engage in a very high intensity electrical, mechanical engineering and compete on a global basis. But Malaysia can find very many niches where the graduates, their graduates, could be employed very productively within Malaysia itself. Uh, and that's uh, your research and development, educational functions, it's your biotech, it's your pharmaceutical industries, it's your high-end petrochemical industries. There is a variety of things that Malaysia can do very, very successfully and employ those people. And that's when those people will start moving up the value curve within Malaysia rather than moving up uh, in other countries. I, I think we've got to get some of our fundamentals right uh, at this key point in time. You know, um, um, you, were, you were talking just now about uh, competing with our regional neighbours. Uh, I think our neighbours are starting to get it right. And, and I'm not just talking about Singapore. Singapore have got, has gotten a lot of things right in many ways many, many years ago. But now we see some of the neighbouring countries that were once behind us starting to get their basics right. So whatever that needs uh, tweaking, fixing uh, and coming back to some sort of a stronger merit base, this is the time to do, to do it. Otherwise, we're, we're just going to backslide. Human capital, a key factor for economic progress, perhaps the single most important factor. Clearly, it must be a priority focus if a nation wants to move beyond the middle income trap. I'm Cam Raslan, and this is Biz Unlimited. Mm -hmm.